What's up? I'm Christian Frazier. We're at Linda Vista Skate Park, and I'm going to teach you how to do a frontside boneless. Step one is when you're rolling up to the wall. You want to make sure you have a good amount of speed no matter what kind of wall you're doing it on. And you really want to compress and you want to get ready to pump out of it. So basically step two would be like putting your foot on the coping. And that's really the proper way to do it is trying to get your foot as close as you can to the coping. And that's when you're going to want to grab the board, foot down, and then jump up, not out. You always want to jump up because when you jump out, you're just going to go to flat. And then like step three is like when you're in the air after you jump up, you're just kind of going to be sitting there and then you really got to spot your landing and just poke the board out and bring it back to your feet like you're doing a frontside air or something. And after that, <laughs> if you do the uh, first three steps right, you should be rolling away pretty good. And that's just when you find your landing, spot it, and you should be good. When I like to, or when I go off the top, I really like to scoop my tail as I'm doing it. So it really helps you throw the board out and then you can really pull it back in. And one big thing is always keep your foot on the coping because that's usually the proper way to do it. And you know, you always want to do it the proper way. So a lot of people make the mistake of like just overdoing it. And sometimes you can over amp it and then you just lose it all. And um, an old friend really told me, like he taught me to jump up because when you jump up, you're landing like super high, you're not going out. But like people like to just get there and just jump straight out and you're, just, you're gonna go to flat and it's gonna be really hard for you to make that. 